Neshika.com. It's Beekeeper Miri and Dave, and we're not in the bee yard today. As you can see, we are doing garlic. Miri buys garlic for two or three families. At the open market, we have farmer's truck markets, like I'm sure near where you live, wherever you may be. And it's so much more inexpensive and so much more satisfying to have your own garlic at the house. And it tastes incomparably better than the stuff that's usually Chinese garlic in little knit bags sold all over the world. And as well, no vampires. <laughs> so I'll let Mary take it from here. <laughs> Remember, no vampires. No vampires. No, definitely not. No vampire. So you start with three pretty large heads. I've already cleaned all this garlic you see behind me. It comes, you know, with all this leafy, leafy stuff, some dried, some not very dried, and a lot of dirt. So you clean all the dirt and the leafy stuff off. And I separate them kind of by size. You don't have to do that. Just lay them out somewhere where you can see them all. Uh, one braid typically has between 15 and 20 pieces of garlic on it. That's that's my my preference. You can do whatever you want, and please explore the internet. But more than anything, get yourself some fresh garlic and enjoy it the rest of the year. So I start out with three pieces. I put one down the middle, one over to the left, one crosses over to the right, and I usually take some jute twine like this and I just bring it around the bottom and tie a very simple knot around the bottom because these guys aren't going anywhere. This is, this is the finished product if you're from the house of Miri and Dave. Uh, we use a lot of garlic in our cooking. We, and we enjoy it and it's so great when you can have it fresh. As we, our favorite way to have it is roasted, but we'd really like to hear about your favorite way to use garlic, or if you've got a different way of braiding garlic, I'd love to know about it. Uh, I'm always up for trying out new stuff. So post it in the comments below, and hit subscribe and the bell, of course, so you can see all the very interesting things that we post from time to time. And we look forward to having you as part of our community. So again, from right next to the bee yard for Neshika, I'm Miri the Beekeeper for Neshika.com with my lovely bouquet of garlic. Uh, please join our wonderful community. We've got some fantastic and interesting people that participate in our community. So I encourage you to subscribe, visit our website, see some of the very interesting and intriguing things that we do from time to time, at least we think so. And we hope to see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.